Hi everyone, I'm Anastasia. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to do about a 45-ish minute sculpt class. Um, at one point during the class, I'm going to ask that you get a surface. So I have a chair ready. You can even like take your device and go to a counter or even just prop up against a wall. It's more for like stability purposes. Um, so I'll let you know when that is. You don't need it right now. We'll just come to your mat. And then let's take a breather. So come to one end of your mat, and as you inhale, just take a big breath, reach up, look up. And as you exhale, let it all go. We'll do that again. As you inhale, reach up, look up. Maybe set an intention. What are you grateful for today? And as you exhale, let it go. Oh, let's do one more like that. Big inhale, reach up, look up. And then as you exhale, start to roll down the spine. Start with the head, roll all the way down for eight, seven, six bend your knees when you need to five four three two and one. Oh, hang out here for a minute shake your head yes shake your head no and then from here put weight in your heels start to bend your knees and then lift the hips bend the knees and then straighten it just to introduce some movement into the body inhale bend exhale press we'll do it again inhale bend Hold the bend this time. Walk your hands forward to a plank. <laughs> As I kick my cat. Uh, hands under shoulders, fingertips face front. Bring the feet hip width apart. Pull the abs in, scoop the tailbone towards the floor. Externally rotate the arms so the elbow spins back towards your thighs. And then find your breath. Exhale. Sharp breath. Initiating that navel to spine, initiating the contraction in your abdominal wall. From there, hover the right leg off the ground, straight and pointed. Pull the knee to the chest, in and out. Exhale, inhale, pull it in, then lengthen along. Staying true to this plank as you lengthen the leg. Exhale, inhale, four more. Always the option to come down to your bottom thigh. Exhale, inhale, last two. Exhale. Inhale. With this one, hold the knee forward to the nose. Pull it up. Exhale. Exhale. And so instead of pulling your knee forward from your thigh bone, think about using that sharp contraction to pulse the knee forward towards your chest. Eight of those. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Step it back. Recatch. Reset. Navel to spine. Retuck. Exhale. Shoo. Next time, hover the left leg point through the toe, pull it in, exhale, inhale, strong pull, and then strong reach, exhale, inhale, controlling everything you do from the breath, you have four more, exhale, inhale, last two, hold the knee forward, pulse it up to the chest, exhale, pulse it up, and up, strong navel to spine connection, exhale for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, step it back, mountain climbers, pull side to side, pull right, pull left, pull right, pull left, maybe you stay here, maybe you run it out, spread it out, warm up the body, exhale, exhale, go ten, that's nine, keep it up, here's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, step it back, downward dog, exhale, ha, bending right, bend left, Lift the heels, glide forward to your plank, and then carefully lower onto your forearms. Walk your feet as wide as your mat this time. Retuck your hips. Think about scooping your pelvis down towards the mat. Shift your weight forward. Right knee only bends, extend. Right knee goes tap the mat, then stretch. Inhale, exhale, pushing through the right heel. Let's do four more. Inhale. Exhale, staying lifted out of the ground, out of your shoulders. Last two. Hold your plank. Stay on the right forearm. Swivel open. Sidearm plank. Left hand comes behind your head. Take a moment. Feet can stay stacked. If you want a little less, come down to your bottom thigh. If you want a little more, stack the ankles. From there, press your hips up. Go press and press. Hips lift, squeeze the shoulders, stack the hips. Go eight seven, six, then we're coming back through center, four, three, two, and one, forearms down, walk your feet wide, 
Rain tuck, left side right here. We bend, extend, inhale, exhale, push. So as you lengthen your left leg, you're thinking about pushing it out from the low navel, right where your jeans zip up. Four more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, two to go. Hold the leg straight, side arm plank. Left hand down, swivel open. Right hand comes behind the head. Choose what you want with your feet. Then press the hips up. We press and press. Use the waistline close to the floor for this one. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one. Come back through center. Feet wide. Recatch your breath. Pedal right. Pedal left. Bend right. Bend left. Okay, maybe you stay here. Our option is speed up a little bit faster. You go right, left, right, left. Here we go, eight of those, and you're out. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower everything down. Exhale, pull the arms in. Inhale, head up, chin up, chest up. Ha. Ah. Push your shoulders away, shine your heart forward. From here, come to all fours. Bring your hands wide. About as wide as your mat. Fingertips face front. And then step back into your plank. Okay, we're adding on. Pull the abdominals in. Hover your right leg off the ground. We're adding a push up. Pull the knee to the chest. Extend, bend the elbows. Down and up. Exhale. Inhale, down and up. Always the option to put your foot back down when you push up. Or maybe again, you're doing this from the thigh. Hold at your lowest point, pulse down tempo. Go pulse and pulse. Decide what you want with your feet. Do you have one leg hovering? Are you on all 10 toes? Or are you on both of your thighs? Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, on one, come to your knees. Walk your hands underneath your heart, make a diamond. So your hands are fingertips together, thumbs together. Heart is hovering over your palms. Re-step your feet back, pull the abs in, left side. Hover the left leg, pull it in and out. Exhale, inhale, bend the elbows wide and press it back up. Exhale, inhale, bend the elbows wide, push it away. Two more, exhale, inhale, one more. Hold at your lowest point, little pulses down. Feel your chest squeeze, feel the biceps engage. This is it, exhale. So strong, get a little bit lower. 10 of those, 10, nine, navel to spine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feet down, knees down, lift your hips up high, reach the arms forward, inhale, exhale. Ha. Chest lows, down below your arms. Lengthen your inhales, deepen the exhales. Roll on up, hips to heels. Come on up one vertebrae at a time. Have a seat. Bring your legs in front of you and let's zip them together. Flex your toes up and then bring them to a three quarter bend. So everything is touching my thighs, my knees, my toes. It looks like one long leg. Hands come under your shoulders, fingertips face forward. Lift your hips up and then scoot them back behind you. Hug the elbows in towards your midline. Pull the abs in tight, bend from the elbow, down and up. Elbows bend and extend. So you can always stay here or if this is too much, ground your hips and just work through the arms. Think of a lever hinging from the elbow, down and up lower and lift hugging your elbows so close towards your waistline fingertips should be facing your heels pulse it down a little quicker pulse and pulse exhale exhale now you can stay here or if you want a little more stretch your legs along lift your hips a little higher a little higher abs and tighter pulse and pulse kick up behind your elbow ten more go ten nine eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Have a seat, extend the legs if you haven't already. 
Inhale, reach up, look up, roll the wrist one way and the other, and then fold when you're ready. Ugh. Give yourself a moment. What do you need right here? And then cross through the ankles, plant your palms, exhale into your down dog. If you need to keep your knees bent for now, totally do it. We'll stretch more later. But if you feel ready to extend the legs, maybe press through the heels. And then keep pushing your heart towards your thighs. Bend the knees, take two steps forward, walk your hands back, and then slowly roll on up one vertebrae at a time. Okay, so here's where we will go find our balance. So if you're using a chair, grab it. If you need to go to your countertop, take your device with you. If you need to just stand against a wall, that's good too. So I am going to turn profile. You want one hand on your support system and the other hand on your hip. So whichever way you'd want to do that. We'll start with the feet parallel, hip width apart. Again, one hand comes onto whatever you're using for balance and the other hand comes onto your hip. <sighs> okay, so navel to spine, heavy the tailbone down and just start to lift your heels up and down. Heels go lift and lower. So let's take a minute to talk about this. Take a look down. Heels should be tracking over your first two toes. Think about pressing through the balls of your feet. It should almost feel like your plank position when your feet are at their heels are at their highest point. You wanna go straight up, straight down, include the navel to help, squeeze the glutes, lift and then control the lower. It's up and down, let's do four more. Lift and lower, exhale, inhale, last two. And then we'll speed it up just a little bit faster right here. Your heels go lift, lower, lift, lower. Barely tapping the down, all the emphasis on the way up. Squeeze, lift, lower, lift, lower. And maybe you wanna really practice that balance challenge and bring both hands to your hips. Exhale goes lift, lower. My calves are on fire. Let's do eight more. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, on one, hold your heels at their highest point and just bend from the knee. Your knees go bend and press. Go down and then straight up. Sque feel the squeeze on your way up. We have four more just like this. Go straight down, straight up. Almost like you're sliding down a wall. Last two. Next time, hold the bend in your knees. Go a little bit lower, make it smaller. So it's one inch down, one inch up. If you want a little more, punch the arm in front of you. Rolling their shoulders down, plug them down the back, down an inch, up an inch, challenging yourself to keep your heels as high as they can go. Let's do four more. Down and up. Tops of the thighs are moving your body. Last two. Hold at your lowest point, make it a pulse down, down from here, pulse down and down. Finishing like this for this first one. You can maybe punch both arms forward or you want a little more, reach both arms up overhead. Don't let that compromise your form. Shoulders stacked to over hips, hips down low. Get lower, I'm already shaking. 10 of these, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one, extend the legs long, lower the heels. Heels in, toes out. You're making a little V shape. Let's start it over. Heels lift and lower. Up and down. So on this one, maybe you want to really force your arch to lift those heels and lower, working our outer calves instead. You should actually feel it in the entirety of your legs. So in this outside corner of your cheeks, feel that squeeze, lift and lower. Control the up and even more on the down. Squeeze, lift and lower. Long line, head to heel. Nice, proud chest. Exhale. Inhale, four more like this. Go four, straight up, straight down, that's three. I'll turn so you can see my profile, lift and lower. Speed it up a little faster right here. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Wait on the pinky toes this time. It's up, down, up, down. Eight of those, you go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. On one, hold the heels high, listen up. Step your heels in together to touch. Keep them lifted, bend at the knees. Go down and then straight up. We lower and lift. Feel the squeeze as you lift. Exhale, 
inhale, exhale, four more. Go down and up. Lower and left, you're at the halfway mark. Down and up. Now this time you stay low. Let's work the thighs. Take them back an inch, in an inch. Outer thighs press, inner thighs squeeze. Okay, so this is that moment where hopefully you should be shaking like I am. Breathe through it, inhale, exhale. At this point, you're the only one that can hold yourself accountable. So stay in it, stay strong. Work for your strongest point. Press it back, squeeze it in. Now let's just go back, back. I'll turn so you can see. Press back and back. So if I put my hand right here, I'm pushing against my palm. My tailbone stays so heavy, adding that extra resistance. Press back and back. If you want a little more, punch one arm forward. You go press and press. Chest high, tail low. Let's add a pulse down, two moves. Press your thighs, then pulse the body. Thighs go back, then you sit low. Press and pulse. Keep pushing your heels together so strong. Now put it all together. Pulse, press, press, pulse. Inner and outer thighs should be on fire. Get a little bit lower. If you want even more, punch both arms forward. If you want even more still, reach your arms overhead. Make a decision, commit to it. We're here for you, let's go. 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, last one, I promise. Give yourself a little wiggle wobble. Feet come back hip width apart. This time, invert your V. Toes in, heels out. Yes, this is our last one for today. One hand on the support, one hand on your hip. Lift the heels, we lift and lower. So we've got literally every side of your calves. Squeeze, lift and lower. You should really feel this one in your glutes as well. Don't just rely on your calves or they're gonna be so, so sore. Engage in the entire leg. Squeeze, lift, and lower. Exhale, inhale, four more. Up and down, lift. Last two. Let's take it a little bit faster. This is our last set. Up, down, up, down. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Ooh, you're gonna wanna give up at this point, but just breathe. Breathe through that cramp, breathe through that burn. Send your exhales to where you feel sore. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Eight more like this. You're here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold at the top. Step everything into touch. Thighs, knees, toes. Zip it up. You know what to do. Bend the knees down, lift back up. We bend, extend. So again, making sure everything is connected from the big toe all the way to where your thighs meet. Lower and lift. Straight down, straight up. Two more. This time hold the knees bent and just squeeze your thighs together. Contract, squeeze in and in. So it doesn't really look like I'm doing a lot, but this is actually a lot of work. Think about a ball between your inner thighs and then see if you can pop that ball. Squeeze it a little bit tighter and tighter, almost like there's a band around your thighs. Exhale, exhale. Let's add a pulse, two moves. One squeeze of the thighs, one pulse of the body. In, then down in then down and they'll put that all together this is it right here squeeze pulse pulse squeeze okay i'm gonna give you the last option maybe arm forward or overhead okay if you feel like you want a little more hinge back from your knees from there so your, so your waist excuse me your knees slide forward your waist goes back almost like you're pulling off of a water ski squeeze pulse pulse squeeze i'll turn so you can see I'm not arching from my spine, I'm hinging from the waist. Diagonal head to knee, exhale, keep squeezing, pulsing, 10 of those, 10, nine, then you're out, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh wow, shake it out. Kick one leg back, grab on, pull the knee back, Press your hips forward, soften your bottom knee. Whew. And switch. Pull the leg back, press your hips forward, soften your bottom knee. Let it go. Okay, get rid of your chair or your counter. Come back to your mat, let's stretch it out. Step your right foot forward into a lunge, left foot back, and then gently allow the knee to fall. As you inhale, reach the arms up high overhead, maybe a little back bend. Give yourself some space for your breath. And as you exhale, swan dive down. 
and then take a minute right here. You can open your knee wide, lower to one or both of your forearms, whatever feels good to you. And just hang for a minute, catch your breath, come back to your intention. Uh, from here, left arm stays down, open the right arm high, big reach. And then maybe we'll take it back towards the ankle. You can stay here or start to bend into the back leg and grab on. If that's not happening for you today, maybe you just give yourself a few kick kicks. Or maybe this feels good as it was. Gently allow the leg to fall. Circle the arm back down. Toe heel your knee in parallel, hands frame your foot. Lift your hips up and back, flat and then bend, send the hips forward. Lift the hips, lengthen and flex. Bend and guide your hips forward. This should feel kind of like a wave, really ooey gooey. Last time, pull the length in the legs, shine your heart forward. Keep the length as you crawl and fold. Exhale, ha. Do whatever you'd like right here. Maybe you slide deeper. Maybe you're working for your splits today or maybe you're like, this is just what I needed. Press yourself on up, slide your leg back down, roll on up to kneel, left leg steps forward, inhale, reach up, look up, take up space, exhale, dive down, and then toe heel the knee wide. If you like, just be really mindful your knee stays over the ankle, stay on your palms, lower to the forearms, or just kind of move around, whatever feels good. From here, right hand stays center, left arm opens nice and wide, big twist. And then maybe you reach back or bend for the leg. If you have the ankle in your hand, continue to press those hips forward towards your mat. Or maybe you're just doing a few kick kicks. Gently let the leg fall. Circle the arm back down. Toe heel the knee parallel, hands spring your ankle. Lift your hips up, flex, extend, bend, press, forward, lift, flex, heart shines, and then bend. Super juicy. Last time. Lengthen the leg, inhale, lengthen, keep the length as you crawl forward and fold. And then notice if the side feels a little different, if it feels a little bit stickier. Send it some extra love, send some exhales. Find whatever expression works for you. And then as you press yourself on up, bend your knee, come to all fours, plant your hands, curl the toes, exhale down dog. You did a lot in the calves today, so paddle it out right and left, pushing one heel down the other should feel good. And then just take a moment of stillness. As you inhale, think about what you're grateful for. And as you exhale, sigh it out. <sighs> inhale, give your body some love for what you've already done this morning. And exhale, lift your hips. <sighs> lift the heels high, bend your knees, come back down. Roll on up one vertebrae at a time. All right, kiddos, have a seat. Slide your legs in front of you. So from here, your feet are planted. You're sitting on both your sits bones. Right leg comes in front of the 90 and then hook your left leg back behind. So take a minute. Your left leg will go as far back as your hip flexibility allows. Just be mindful that the knee is behind your shoulder. Yes, yeah? so we're not working in this hip crease. You wanna wrap it around as far as your hip flexibility will allow. Front leg is at a 90 to protect your knee, so make sure it looks like a big L shape. From there, tent the fingertips, sit so tall, point through the toes and we'll start it slow. Squeeze the outside of your hip to rotate it forward and then let it go. Squeeze, rotate, release, exhale, inhale. This one, as we work into it a little bit deeper, it'll creep up all the way onto your waistline, all the way up into your oblique and that's a good thing, you want that to happen. Squeeze the seat and then let it go. You can even put your hand here. Flex and release. 
flex, let it go. So I'm not moving my body, I'm actually contracting my butt cheeks so much that the hips move and lowers. And now let's do it a little bit faster. You go rotate, rotate. So the release becomes less and less. Rotate, rotate. Think about where your pants pocket sits and then just clench from there. Squeeze and squeeze. Rotate and rotate. Exhale, exhale. Let's do eight more like that. Go eight seven, six, five, four, three. Now we'll slow it down and add a lift of your ankle. Rotate, lift, let it go. Rotate, lift, and lower. So don't think about lifting your ankle up. Think about initiating from your squeeze. You're contracting so hard that that is the reason why your ankle lifts. Maybe it just comes an inch off the floor. Maybe it barely moves at all. But as you keep clenching and contracting, you'll add more mobility to the back of the leg. Squeeze, lift and lower, lift and lower. Okay, I'm feeling it in my waist, I'm burning. Rotate, lift and lower. Let's do four more. Exhale, beautiful, exhale and down. Last two. Now try to hold the ankle floating and then speed it up right here. Go rotate and rotate. So the tendency is to kind of make your way to the side. Instead, bring forward. Exhale, exhale. Allow your arms, allow this front leg to be your support system to keep the work on the waist, to keep the work in the hip. Go rotate and rotate. Exhale, navel to spine. Everything is working to help you out. Squeeze, squeeze. We rotate and rotate. Again, if your ankle isn't as high as mine, that's totally fine. Maybe it's hovering. Maybe you're keeping it on the floor today. This is your workout. Decide what's best for your body and know there's always room for more. Squeeze, squeeze. 10 of those. Go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Listen up. Come down to your right forearm directly out from the hip. Box out the top arm. Lift the back leg up, then set it down. Lift and lower, use your waist, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, okay, you have two more like this, lift and lower, hold at the top, glide it forward, you glide it forward, knees hip width apart, then press back where you came from, exhale, navel to spine, and then inhale, wrap it around, just two more like that, try to keep the leg lifted, and then slide it back, one more, then you're out. Press forward, now keep it here, legs, they tap, then lift. Lean forward to your box out arm. This should feel like it did in your side arm plank. So stay lifted out of your mat. Two more, down and up. Hold at the top, flex your foot, extend, then bend. Extend and bend like a lever. Extend, hinge, then bring it back in, out and in four more engage in the back of the leg to pull your heel back in last two now hold the leg super six straight tap it down and up right here lower and lift this is where it gets so juicy down and up inhale exhale four more like this turn the toes down heels up you tap the toe lift the heel up inhale exhale last two down and up, hold at the top. Here we go, pulse the heel to the ceiling. You pulse and pulse. This is where we finish. If you want to stay, absolutely do it. If this is too much, add a bend in your knee. If you would like more of a challenge, punch the top arm forward, stay lifted, use the waistline. Everything is guiding you through this movement. 10 more, go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh. Come on up, windshield wiper your legs. Hoo-ha. Okay, I am so dirty. <laughs> Have a seat, bring the legs in front of you, let's switch sides. Left leg comes in front, hook your right leg all the way back. Okay, let's check in. This placement is so important. We'd rather do it right from the start. Okay, so your front leg is at a 90, big L shape. Your back leg is hooked behind you. Just as much as your hip flexibility allow, as long as it is either in line with your shoulder or behind it. So you've got to hold yourself accountable. We need to protect the body. 
If your knee is forward, you'll start to work into this hip crease into your hip flexors, and we already do enough of hip flexor stuff. So slide it back, focus on the back of your leg. Tent the fingertips, sit so tall, navel to spine, we start it slow. Rotate, let it go. Rotate, release. Clenching the seat. The entire outside peach is working for this one. Rotate, release. Squeeze, let it go. And sometimes I do keep my hand here. I'm like, am I doing it right? Yes, take your mind to the muscle that's working. Squeeze, let it go. Rotate, release. And let's do four more like that so you can really get the hang of it. Squeeze, let it go. Rotate the hip forward. And then we'll speed it up a little bit more right here. Go rotate and rotate, thinking forward, forward, eliminating how much you release, instead deepening the contraction every time. Use that front leg, feel free to really push down, maybe you even grab onto your ankle if that feels good. Rotate and rotate. Exhale, exhale. Let's do 10 more. Go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We slow it down with a lift of the ankle. Go lift and lower. So that lifting the ankle automatically brings it into my back oblique, brings it up into the waist where maybe your pants pocket fits, your pants sit. That is totally normal. Breathe through it. If you start to feel a cramp, just send yourself some breath, maybe shake it out. And then notice how does this side feel compared to the other? Not good or bad, just nice to notice. Maybe we're stronger on the right side. Lift and lower. Four more slow, then you speed it up. Lift and lower. Again, rotating so much that that is why your ankle lifts. Last two. Ankle stay lifted, hovering, then rotate tempo a little faster. Rotate rotate you go squeeze and squeeze okay again the tendency is gonna be to fall instead lean forward I mean it walk your hands forward shine the heart flat back exhale exhale maybe you go down onto your top thigh rotate rotate so 20 more seconds and then we'll lie down exhale exhale ten more go ten nine eight seven, six, five, four, three, hold the ankle lifted, come down to your left forearm, directly out from your hip, box the top arm, lift the leg up, exhale, inhale, okay, be mindful, keep the leg where it's at, just lift from there to hover and then set it back down, use your waist, use your obliques, four more, exhale, inhale, last two, hold the leg lifted, Slide it forward to the front elbow. Forward, maybe you tap, and then press it back. Exhale, navel to spine, and then inhale, find the squeeze to stop the leg. Two more, like you're floating on a countertop. Last time, hold the knee forward, tap them down. You tap and lift, down and up. Check in with the shoulders, press up and away. Feel your side arm plank right here. Two more. Holding at the top, flex through the foot, kick it out, and then glue the heel back in. Extend and bend. Are you breathing? Exhale, inhale, and automatically that initiated my contraction. Exhale, inhale. I lost count, but let's do two more for good measure. Take it out and in. Hold the leg six straight, lower it down and up. You have two more big changes and then you're out of here. We lower and lift. It's down, it's up. Hold at the top. Toes down, heels up, four more, down and up. So you think about internally rotating the leg, holding at the top, pulse the heel to the ceiling. This is it, pulse it up, pulse it up. You lift and lift. If you want a little more, punch the arm, open the chest, lift up from the waistline, 10 of those. That's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh gosh, let it go. Windshield wiper your legs. And then let's stretch a little deeper. Plant your feet, hands on your shoulders, fingertips forward, bend the elbows, and then just kick one leg over the other. Flex the foot and grow nice and tall. Whew. This can be active or passive, so the smaller you make yourself, the more of a stretch it'll be. Yeah, so sitting up taller, opening through the chest, pressing your thigh back. 
and then bend the elbows, maybe do a can-can, switch sides, grow nice and tall. And switch, okay. Turn back. I think they're about to start doing uh, some landscaping next door, so hopefully you can hear me. Feet are hip width apart, parallel. Scoot your hips forward, lie down. Three sets of abs, three times through. Hands behind your head, elbows are wide. Right knee lifts as you curl to the thigh four times. Here we go, you curl, twist, inhale, lower. Curl, twist, inhale, lower. Two more. Here we go, left side four times. Curl, twist, inhale, lower. Curl, twist, inhale, lower. Next time, curl into a ball, knees in, elbows in. Kick the legs out, open the elbows, bring it in, tap your thighs. Push the legs, open the elbows, bring it in, tap your thighs. Out, extend, bring it in, bend. Hold your legs out, rest the upper body, walk it down for four, three, two, walk it up the wall for four, three, only go as low as you can control. Walk it down for four, three, two, walk it up right here, it's four, three, two more. Go to your lowest point without arching your back, navel to spine, last one like this, walk it up. Next time, walk it all the way down, we started over. Walk it down for four, three, plant your feet, hip width apart, hands behind your head, curl to the right knee, four times, twist and lower, right knee up. And down, two more, twist and lower. Left side, four times, curl, twist, inhale, lower. Lift your knee to a table, set it back down. Curl into a ball, elbows in, your legs extend, open, bring it in, tap your elbows to your thighs. Try to keep the chest lifted, exhale, pull it in. Two more, extend, elbows open, bring it in, last time. It's out, keep the legs out, rest the upper body. Walk it down, four counts, it's four, three, two, then walk it back up, exhale, lift it up. Hands go down, maybe you push down into the floor. Inhale, lower, two, three, and four. Exhale, lift it up, two, three, two more like this. Inhale, we lower, two, three, and four. Exhale, lift it up, okay, last time. Last round, walk it all the way down. Walk it down four, three, feet are hip width, hands to your head. Right knee, last time, curl it up. You go twist and lower. Really try to stabilize your opposite leg. Lift and lower. Left side, here we go, it's up and down. Two more. Hold your knees in, curl into a ball. Your legs extend, your elbows open. Pull it in, elbows tap your thighs. Inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you pull. Last two, inhale and exhale. Inhale, legs out. Lift your legs up towards the ceiling. Bend your knees, rest your head. Then bump your hips to the sky. Hips lift and lift. They're barely lifting an inch off the mat. Exhale, exhale, scoop from the low navel. 10 of these, then you're out. Go 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, your four, not, your video's not working. Three, two, and one. Why not? I'm not sure. It says pause. Bend your knees. Extend through the arms. Big reach. Bend one knee. Flip on over to your front side. Come onto all fours. Hands under shoulders. Fingertips forward. Inhale, dive through. Exhale, round. Inhale, dive through. Head up, chin up, chest up. Exhale, round. Two more. Inhale, dive through. Exhale, round. Last time. Dive through. Push the ground up and away. Okay, last big push. Have a seat. Flip on over. Is it still paused? Zip the legs together. Scoot your hips forward and lie down. Hands come down by your what sides? 
everything is touching, thighs, knees, toes. And start to lift your hips up. Hips lift and lower. Hips lift and lower. Squeeze, let it go. Hips lift and lower. So everything touching, your legs are at a three-quarter bend. Squeeze the seat to lift your hips up, but only where you feel the top of the ribs stay down to the floor. So thinking about your rib cage staying heavy between the arms. Lift and lower. Hold at the top, pulse the hips up and up. Arms down by your side. This is it, your last maybe like minute and a half. Squeeze, lift and lift. It's up and up. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold your hips up. Let's start with the heels. Maybe walk your feet in a little bit closer. Heels come to your tippy toes, then lower. Heels lift and lower. So everything is touching thighs, knees, toes. This is exactly what we were doing when you were standing, but now we're just lying down. Work in a different part of the body. Lower. Squeeze, lift, and lower. Let's do four more just like this. Keep everything touching. Last two. Now stay on your highest tippy toes. Lower the hips down an inch, up an inch. We lower and lift again right at the top of the ribs where they connect. That should be grounded on your mat. Lift and lower. Squeeze, lift and lower. Up and down. Four more. Squeeze, lift and lower. Last two. Hold at the top, then pulse the hips up towards the ceiling. Maybe you walk your feet closer. Lift your heels a little bit higher. Lift and lift. Pulse it up. Pulse it up. Turn it. Come here. Exhale. Exhale. <laughs> lift up and up. Ten more, just like this. Go ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three two and one carefully roll down hug your knees in come to a happy baby hands wrap onto the outsides of your legs pull your knees into your shoulders press your hips down and maybe rock side to side to massage your spine bend the knees close them in like a book rock and roll yourself up i'm going to turn to face you maybe you want to turn long ways on your mat as well Bring the soles of the feet together, your knees wide, grab onto the ankles, inhale, lengthen the spine tall, and as you exhale, start to fold with the flat back, shine the heart forward, and then round at the very last moment. Active or passive, it's up to you. Maybe you grab onto the ankles to pull yourself down. Maybe you press your elbows into your thighs, or maybe you just hang out, that's good too. Roll yourself on up. Right leg stays in, left leg goes out long, straight and flex. Lower the left arm and then rainbow your right arm around. Ugh. Spiral the heart up towards your lifted arm and breathe 360 into your navel, your side body, the rib cage. And then close your nose off to your knee if that feels good. Hands frame the ankle, allow the head to fall. And roll on up, switching sides. Lower your right arm, rainbow the left arm around. Feel the stretch. You did a lot of work in your side body and your waistline today. So really reach, reach, reach. And then circle the arm down to frame your thigh. That feels good. Again, it's up to you. on up, bend your knees, close them in like a book, extend the legs long, flex through the feet, sit super tall, inhale, reach up, look up, and as you exhale, dive forward. If you want a little more, flatten out the back, pull your toes towards your chest, or if you'd like something more passive, bend your knees, wrap the elbows in, and puff up the low back. Roll on up, cross through the ankles, sit up tall, place the hands on the tops of your thighs and just allow the eyes to close for a moment. Coming back to your intention if you set one. Giving gratitude for being here, for showing up on your mat today. 
Lengthen your inhales, deepen your exhales, soften the gaze or close the eyes completely. As you inhale, reach the arms up overhead, palms press. As you exhale, guide them down to your heart center. Bowing your chin to chest to seal the work that you've done today. That maybe you did physically alone, but energetically all of us did it together. Thank you so much, everyone. My name is Anastasia. I hope to see you soon.